This is a series of one, two, three cash flows. These occur over the next eight years. So let's put them on a timeline so we can see what we're working with. So let's see, we've got uh, the first one of 8,000 is in year one. There's another one of 8,000 in year three. And then there is a third one of 4,000 in year eight. So in this problem, we are asked for what? How much money we'll have in an account that deposits each of these um, cash flows, uh, and how much money we'll have after the final deposit using a discount rate of 9.1%. And so we're looking for a future value. And when is that future value going to occur? Well, it's immediately after you make the final deposit, which is at time eight. So it's gonna be FV8. So we're looking for something that happens right here. And so our rules uh, for finding future values of a series of cash flows are um, to first calculate the future value of each individual cash flow and then second we need to add this first cash flow. It is what it is so we don't have to compound that forward since it happens at time 8. This cash flow we've got to go forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 years and this cash flow we've got to go forward seven years. All right so let's calculate this future value at time eight and so I'll start with is eight thousand dollars times one plus the interest rate of nine point one percent raised to the seventh power since we're going seven periods ahead. Now let's go to this eight thousand its future value is 8,000 times 1 plus the interest rate raised to the fifth power since we're going five years ahead and future value of this cash flow since it happens at time 8 its future value at time 8 is just 4 